had from the annual team. Sadly, the excitement uh, of the visit is marred by its circumstances. I have to say I was shocked uh, and dismayed on taking up the post to discover the lack of support the island's administrators are willing to offer you, the good people of Jersey, with their lack of respect for the negotiating machinery which has been in place for so many years, and the lack of respect, therefore, for you uh, and the hard work you're doing in delivering public sector services. Um, I just find it unbelievable. I was also just as shocked and dismayed to discover your employer's intransigence in ignoring the carefully considered advice that we, as your trade unions, have offered for you. In rallying here today, by teachers balancing on industrial action in the next couple of weeks, and in making unprecedented statements to uh, you know, the island, statement, uh, the island services about public services, we're not asking for any radical power struggle. We're simply we're here to demonstrate our concerns and frustrations that, that you, the general public, have, and the ordinary worker on Jersey, that you should receive that which you're promised and that which you deserve. A decent standard of living, meaningful public sector provision for all, respect for your rights as citizens in this wonderful place. You should not have to take the petty pinching practices currently manifest in the island's administration, or the disdain of your chief minister who refuses to discuss the matters with us in person. Neither should you have to pay the price the economic and financial mismanagement of the banks and other institutions which have caused much of this current crisis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Today's rally is about protecting your rights, your pay, your services and your families. I'm honoured to share this platform with all our sister unions today. Um, today is about unity and it's about respect. The states of Jersey have shown them our strength and depth of feeling today and everything that we hold dear. It's fantastic to be here. Pick up your placards, wave your flags, blow your whistles, rattle your rattles. Let's have a great afternoon. Cheers. Thank you. Jersey and people who come over from the UK. Before we start this march this morning, I want to dispel some rumours. One of the rumours that's being promulgated is the fact that this is about money. It's about pay. It is not about money and pay alone. It's about these things. When your house is on fire, who comes to put it out? When you're sick, who comes to look after you? Who educates your children? And let's talk about money for a second, shall we? Just for one second. Corporation tax on the banks in this island has been reduced by 10%. If you come in as a foreign employer, you pay no corporation tax. 80 million pound hole. You, the public sector, are being asked to pay for it. Public services are being asked to pay for it. I'd like to mention two names of two men. One of them is James Shears, 35 years old. Alan Bannon, 38 years old, died in a fire rescuing people from a block of flats in Southampton. That's what it's about. It's not about a few pennies or a few pounds. It's about making sure that our services on this island remain intact that the state's government do not tax the kids, the ill, the sick, the elderly and the infirm so that they can sit on huge bonuses. These are people who won't negotiate with us. Thank you for coming here today, for giving them the message that this kind of behaviour is unacceptable. We're here not because we want to cause trouble, but because it's the right thing to do in a civilised society. Please enjoy the march this afternoon and thank you so much for supporting each other in this vital struggle. Thank you. Thank you for our speeches there this morning. We're going to do our absolute best to make sure that every single member of the public in Jersey knows what